Hi, Premier. Tina Yes, Danny with City News. Hi. Hi. Um, so you touched briefly on impaired driving in this announcement. I do want to ask you about that because two people in Ontario were killed in, in the last two weeks by alleged drunk drivers and impaired driving numbers are trending upwards in the province and have been for years. Premier, will your government's alcohol everywhere policy exacerbate that problem? No, I don't think so. you got to be responsible, right? You can go into the liquor store right now. You, you can go to uh, you know, a local uh, food lane up north. You have to be responsible. People know you don't drink and drive. But I'm, I'm going to hand this question over to for Deputy Dart and then over to uh, Chief Nish. And uh, they're, they're on the ground. They see and they hear what uh, their police officers are, are telling them. But I do like the, the idea about at nighttime or Deputy Dart, uh, Deputy Commissioner Dart can explain it. But you get a test. If you aren't drinking, you don't have to worry, right? And uh, if you are drinking, well, you're getting towed away, and depending on uh, the circumstances, you may be in jail. But deputy, yeah. Thank you, Premier, and thank you for that question. Um, it is a significant concern for our province, um, and legitimately, um, impaired drivers kill, and that needs to be a priority of uh, a police responsibility. Um, contributing to, of course, our efforts to make sure that our highways are safe for uh, those living in Ontario as well as those visiting our province. Um, collectively and cooperatively, we work together with all of our law enforcement partners in an effort to combat and tackle impaired driving. Whether we do that proactively through um, crime prevention measures, uh, conversations that we continue and need to have, as well as enforce, enforcement efforts and being very target specific in um, our efforts to combat impaired drivers. Thank you. And just to top up uh, Deputy Commissioner's uh, comments, you know, the reality is people who have uh, perhaps addictions issues, whether it be by drug or alcohol, um, it's a prevalent problem which is not just a law enforcement policing uh, issue, it's a public health issue that I think more recently in the last several years we've been more thoughtful of doing that. So some of the trends you're seeing is also a confluence of uh, drugs as well as alcohol. So access to it not necessarily doesn't co correlate to an increase in the behavior. So it is a holistic approach, but you've seen without a doubt with the OPP and our municipal agencies, a shift on how we approach uh, impaired driving, particularly the uh, OPP's recent policy of a mandatory uh, tests. Uh, in fact, here in Peel region, anybody that gets, gets stopped for an impaired driving, either by drug or alcohol, gets an immediate referral to a social service agency to provide off-ramps. Off so the solutions for the problem, back to the Premier's comments, are about the root causes which we're focused on.